Hello chessmates! Welcome to another video on our series on beating chess masters with modern defense. Uh, one of the basic principles we are taught at the beginning is to bring our king to safety by means of castling. Uh, another advantage is by doing so, we could be able to connect our two rooks and bring them into play on time. Uh, this is true, but there are exceptional instances. Uh, the following online sparring game against a Fide master from the Czech Republic is one such instance. Let's start. D4, G6, approaching modern defense, which is characterized by Black's Fianchetto Bishop at G7. Modern defense is, a, is an example of what Aaron Nimsovich called hypermodern defense, whose main principle is to let the white pieces initially control the center and for black to challenge this control. As you can see here, initially the white controls the center and black apparently allows this one but with this phase of the game initial phase of the game we can see that now black starts to challenge at least part of these centers so with the knight pawn at d6 and the fianchetto bishop at g7 we can see that black is now trying to challenge the control of the e5 and the d4 in particular pawn at d4 is now being targeted so here we reach the modern defense aberback system coat of variation wherein we can see that with the push of e5 pawn now black starts to challenge this con white's control of the center okay challenging again the center by means of the flank pawn at is at f7 pushing to f5 okay not allowing black to castle Check. Propylactic. Driving away the knight. Okay, blunder because I could win a piece by e4, but I was uh, I missed this one because I was eyeing on the extended pawn at h5 trading bishops try and control the semi open g file Protecting the edge phone at the same time trying to double it along the edge file after I remove I after I lift the bishop at e7 uh, at e7 Here we are Advancing the edge phone Advancing the knight Check. Check. 
centralizing his knight, trying to control the open edge file. King's move, trying to prevent it. Transferring my king to the queen side, <coughs> where I am expecting for pawn storm on his side. Trying to break it. Pushed. I pushed. Trying to break the base of the pawn chain. Protecting it. Take. Take. Trying to transfer my rook to the queen side. Trying to control the open A4, uh, A file. Threatening his pawn. Protecting it. And then I took it. With the expectation that after rook takes rook, I could take his pawn with bishop check, double attack. I will win again the rook. And then my three extra pawn would be enough for me to render a win. So my opponent at this moment resigned. So as shown in this game, you may do away with your castling provided that by doing so, you will be able to get some compensations such as gaining tempo in controlling the center and driving away his attacking piece or pieces. So if you enjoy watching this game, then click the like button. And if you want to watch other games in this series of beating chess masters with modern defense, then just click the subscribe button. See you in the next video, God willing.